All right, so we're going to talk about the Fordson Major air cleaning system today. Uh, we've had 90 mils of rain in the last 36 hours, so perfect opportunity to come and play in the shed. So we'll cover off a really important system of the Fordsons, and that's the air cleaners. Uh, we have two types of air cleaner. We've got the primary air cleaner which is this one here. Um, that consists of um, a lot of angular veins um, to catch the large pieces of foreign matter from entering the air system. Um, there were different kinds. Um, there were some of the air, primary air filters were um, kind of below the bonnet, um, but it was recommended uh, in dusty conditions like in Australia or South Africa to have the primary air cleaner above the bonnet and in most good Ford's and Major workbooks um, actually comes with the procedure for cutting the hole in and adding the primary primary air cleaner on top of the bonnet um, the second cleaner is known as the main air cleaner and it is an oil bath type um, most books recommend to be cleaned every 50 hours, which isn't a large operating time for a farmer. Um, but it depends on the conditions you're in. If it's really dusty, um, check it more regularly. They recommend that the sediment in the oil bath doesn't get to more than half an inch in the base because um, it can restrict airflow or impede airflow. Um, and then it will affect your performance of your machine. And again, if you underfill the oil, uh, we're not getting a proper filtration of the air as it's going through the oil. Um, and in some instances, it can um, run out your engine, too much airflow, uh, runs it out. You've done a pretty bad damage to your tractor if you have that. Um, so it's always important to check the oil level in your oil bath quite regularly. Um, a lot of gauze in that system as well for catching that stuff. And it really is the last defense to protect your uh, engine and the fuel injection system from debris coming through the air. Um, dust, smoke, soot, all those nasties, uh, fine chuff from harvesting operations. Uh, you really don't want that getting into your fuel injection system and your air system of your engine. So we'll quickly go through how to access it. Now again, uh, I'm lucky with an Australian tractor to have the primary air cleaner above the bonnet. Um, we'll take that out and then we'll get into the oil bath. So again, I'll just unscrew this to demonstrate. There we go. Now again, if this gets dusty or dirty, you can blow it out with an air compressor. Now the top primary air cleaner does just slide on. Gravity holds it there. And that's what it looks like. As you can see, it's mainly going to catch large debris, not the finer stuff. That's what the uh, air oil bath filters for. All right, put that aside. Now again, for me to get my bonnet up on this side, I have to remove my Uber spark arrester. Um, some Fordsons have a downswept exhaust, which means you can access the bonnet a lot easier. Um, now I've already pre-loosened this down here, so I can just lift the spark arrester straight out. Helps me get the tractor in and out of the shed as well. Uber is off. All right. Open her up. All right. 
there we have our main air cleaner with the oil bar um, as you can see from there goes through gets filtered comes up and then goes in to our engine um, this air hose is really important to make sure you maintain its integrity uh, the previous owner before me has used electrical tape to tighten that up uh, for me that's not good enough so you can still buy uh, replacement air hoses uh, for the Fords and Majors eBay sell them for about $50 Australian um, so I'll grab one of those and replace that um, so let's have a look at oil bath so to dismantle it uh, we have to loosen the clamp um, that's holding the oil bath itself to the filter and that's this one right here so bear with me now I haven't actually opened this up and cleaned it yet so it's going to be interesting to see what's in it uh, now again be very careful because it is oil in there if you hold it at an angle or it drops unexpectedly and you're not ready you're going to have oil and dirty oil go everywhere and you don't particularly want that especially when it's above your toolbox so give me a sec I'll unloosen the clamp and we'll have a look together Yeah, already loose. The oil bath is drops out with hardly any persuasion. Go on. Yeah, that's okay. All right. So. That is how you remove the oil bath from the main filter. Now, as you can see there, that's really dark oil, and you can use just uh, any old engine oil. Um, this lip here is the fill point, and luckily for me, it's fairly accurate. If you overfill it, you know, it's not going to cause harm to your engine but it will restrict airflow and and impact performance um, having it below the fill line is where you're really in trouble and if you're in doubt uh, most manuals recommend uh, one and a quarter liters of oil very dark now let's change the angle up a bit for you very dark, you can see a bit of debris, a bit of dust in there floating in there. I'm going to empty that out. Have a look. Yeah, I can feel along the bottom. Look at that. Look at that sludge that's been caught in this system. No, that's not ideal at all. Um... We'll give that a clean out. They reckon paraffin or kerosene to clean out the filters and that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, that that's not ideal. Now, I'll see if I can get the filter out. Bear with me. I'll put that somewhere safe so I don't spill it. Uh, no, let me just wash off the glove. All right. <laughs> Back up to our filter. All right. This is up a little bit more. A bit stuck bear with me like i said first time i've had a look at it so it's not playing the game there we go 
go. Took a bit of pry, as you can see. All that dust, all that debris created quite a lip, as you can see there. Look, that's all dust that's been caught in it. Bit of moisture as well, rusted it out. I mean, you can see all that that's been caught in it. So, again, sorry that took a bit longer than my usual videos. Um, said first time I've peeked into this air cleaner and the oil bath on this Fordson, and as we can see, with all found definitely need some TLC all right one last view and then I'll get to cleaning and hopefully you guys can keep searching YouTube for fantastic faults and videos so I'll come right in through and then <laughs> We go up, see there, oh, the cleaner, a bit more there to clean. Always more to clean on a Fawson Major. All right, hopefully that helps someone. That is the air cleaning system on a Fawson Major.